Hello everyone, today we'll be taking a look at the Figma Overwatch HANA song, otherwise known as D.Va. This is actually my first Overwatch Figma since I've been collecting the Hasbro line instead, but since they haven't made D.Va yet, I just had to get her. When I made my Tracer review, I had not gotten into the game, but now it's one of my favorite games to play for fun or just to pass the time. It took me a while to find which character I like playing as the most, but now I can safely say that I am a D.Va and Mercy main. I'm certainly looking forward to getting Mercy later in the year when she comes out. Now, before we get to the figure, let's take a look at the packaging. D.Va comes in your standard Figma box, and it has a window in the front that shows the figure and accessories nicely. It has some pictures of the figure on the side, and on the back we have some pictures of D.Va in different poses, and also showing accessories she comes with. The box also tells us that this is Figma number 408. Moving on to the figure itself, she has a lot of really nice details all over the plug suit and the decals and branding she has look really good for the most part, but she does sadly have a few blemishes. However, they are barely noticeable, so I don't really mind that much. Her suit has a lot of sculpted detail and the lines are not just painted on. Her hair is in a more dynamic pose so you can move her head in any direction and it is made of a soft rubbery material so it doesn't feel like it's going to snap off at a wrong turn or anything like that. Her face looks really good and it's pretty much just like she looks in the game. Her gun is also painted pretty well and her name came out pretty clean on it. Her hat also looks just like it did in her animated short and her bunny symbol in her chest came out perfectly. As for articulation, she has the standard Figma joints and can move her head up and down as well as tilt sideways and rotate. She has double bowl jointed shoulders and can move in all directions. Her elbows can move forward and back as well as swivel. Her torso is on a similar joint to the one in her neck and can move forward and back as well as rotate and tilt from side to side. Her hands are on bowl joints and can move in all directions. Her legs are on a ball joint that can expand and give her a bigger range of motion and can move forward and back as well as to the sides. Her knees move forward and back and can swivel. Her feet move forward and back and swivel and she also has toe articulation. This figure comes with quite a few accessories such as an extra head with her hat on, two extra faces, a soda can, her gun, a pair of closed fists, a pair of open hands, a pair of gun holding hands, a pair of item holding hands, a pair of hands that make the shape of a heart, a soda can holding hand, a peace sign hand, and a hand holding her phone. She also has a standard Figma bag, instructions, and display stand. This diva stands at about 5 inches tall, and for a size comparison, here she is next to a standard Marvel Legends. Here she is next to a Star Wars Black series. Here she is next to a Overwatch Ultimate Sombra. Here she is next to a figure arts. Here she is next to another Figma. And just for fun, here she is next to the Funko Pop Mecha. And of course, you can't just have D.Va without an appropriate scale Mecha, so here she is next to an unbranded mech I got recently. Overall, I think this is a pretty good figure and it has a bunch of cool accessories that allow for a lot of different poses and it's a pretty good representation of the character. The only negative I have with this figure is how the paint isn't absolutely perfect everywhere, but I don't really mind it as much since it's barely noticeable. However, this isn't a negative for me, but I can see how for some people her size could be a problem since she's on the smaller side. She still looks good next to the rest of the Hasbro line in my opinion though, especially if you display her with a mech. And that's pretty much it for the review. Stay tuned for an upcoming review of the mech I used in the gallery for this video coming soon. And if there's any figure you would like to see in a review, please let me know in the comments. And if I have it in my collection, I'll be happy to cover it. And as always, thanks for watching.